Now there's 480 shots in this one firework. How on earth is it possible? We even have Star Wars themed fireworks. This is the first firework I ever got. It spins, so it'll be fun. So over 2 million of you watched my strange fireworks video. And normally I only do one strange fireworks video a year, but because so many of you watched it, I figured I'd do a follow-up video. And we have a bunch of weird, strange, and odd fireworks here today. We're gonna be lighting them all off before the end of the video, so stay tuned. So before we light these off, I figured I'd show you what we have out here tonight. So right off the bat, a couple of things. We have a missile firework right here. Now it's a lot different than your standard firework missile because this thing here on the bottom actually blows up like a lift charge and sends this up into the air like a shell. So it's, it does have a little bit of rocket juice up in this area, but the main propellant is here on the bottom and it actually shoots this up like a shell. And as you can see, I paid $7.75 for that bad boy. Right here, I paid about $4 for this red, white, and blue Smokin' USA Smoke Bomb by Showtime Fireworks. It's kind of cool. I've never really seen a red, white, and blue smoke bomb set up this way. So these next items here, I want to get you an up-close shot of as well. This is a three-stage spaceship by Wind of Fireworks. So apparently when you light this, it actually goes up to about eye level, and that would be the first stage, and then it continues to hover and fly higher up into the air, and we do have the launch pad. Kate and I went into runnings today, and we got this thing for free. So it's just a big slab of cardboard, but we're going to be using it for this as well, and this is called the Normandy Landing Craft by Brothers Pyrotechnics. You'll see that string here at the bottom. And actually what happens is when the fuse comes around like that, it burns the string and it drops this down. A tank comes out. And after the tank, we get the aerial stuff over here with this little zipper spinner that flies up into the air. This is gonna be really cool. Never seen anything like it. And we got a couple of really unique fountains here. This one has a fish effect and I've only ever really seen that in an aerial shell called flying fish. But this is called Fish Crazy by Black Cat Fireworks. We're gonna be taking a look at that today. It should have some scattering flying fish effects, but on the ground, so that's what makes it unique. And this right here is called the world's highest fountain. So I don't know the max height on this thing. Maybe it says. Um, it does have a performance, but I don't think it gives the height. I'll be interested to see how high this thing actually goes. So this 480 shot cake is a lot like the Justice for All by Miracle Fireworks, where you've got Roman candles. And as you can see, it's set up very similar, except there's only two rows this time, and last time we had like 10. So they're all in these little groupings here. Maybe we can get a better shot of that. And that's what that looks like. So there's a bunch of tubes that go down and 480 shots in total. It's gonna be like one big Roman candle barrage, monkey mania fireworks, scarlet thread. And if you guys are fans of the Mandalorian, then you definitely love the baby Yoda right here. It's actually called the kid, but check it out. I'm a big fan of Star Wars and the Mandalorian. I've seen every episode at least six times. So we're gonna be lighting that off. And then I've got, of course, the Millennium Falcon. I don't think that's what it was called though. It was called something else like spacecraft. Now these next two fountains here are by Black Cat Fireworks. And the only reason I got it is because it says super loud and I really don't know what it does. I imagine it has crackling and whistling the two most annoying effects in fireworks. But because it's so intriguing, I got two of them because if we really like it, we're gonna light them both off. These next items here by Link Triad brand are called the Red, White, and Blue Spinner, but as you can see, we got the Captain America shield on there. And of course, we'll be doing these on the launch pad. So this next one here, I can't figure out how you say that, but it's Ocean Theater is I think what they were going for. There is an extra H in there though. <laughs> it's kind of interesting. It's like a dolphin with something on top and I don't know what it's it does. Ball. Yeah, so it, there are instructions on it though, but I've never seen a firework like this. Okay, so Cade just pointed out that it says load triple A batteries in by the seal. So I don't know. I hope it comes with batteries because otherwise I don't know if we're gonna be able to light this. And then this one here for $2.50, it's a crackling strobe light. And I've seen these strobe pots before and I'm sure you guys have too. They look like this but I've never seen one that crackles. Now this next one here is called Bustin' Balls and Kate actually picked this out at the fireworks store. And it's kind of funny because you also said that you've never really bought a firework and this was like the first one you've ever purchased with yeah, me. This is true. That's I, crazy. I, I've never bought one before my entire I can, life. Can you guys believe this? He's never bought a firework before. That's never. the first That's one. first one. So you picked a strange firework, it's gonna make it in this video and you're gonna be lighting it too. Nice. And then we have the Tiny Tug Fountain by Brothers Pyrotechnics. Um, honestly, I've just never seen a fountain that looks like this. It's kind of cool, it's got two stacks here. I don't know what it does, but we're gonna find out. 
And now we're just waiting for the sun to go down a little bit more and we're gonna start lighting all this off. But we do have a smoke item that we're gonna be doing before it gets dark. And it's gonna be the Smokin' USA by Showtime. So we're gonna light this off right now. So Cade's gonna go ahead and light the Smokin' USA smoke stick. It should be red, white, and blue. But I don't know if it's all at once. We'll find out. Okay, we got red. Oh yeah, it was blue already. Oh, really? Yep, and then white, and then... Oh. No, it doesn't change colors as it goes, right? Or it should be red. We're just seeing red smoke right now, and then it'll be white, oh, I think. I got confused. I don't know. Because I think there's three smoke sticks in there. I could be wrong, though. Yeah, you're probably right. I don't know how long this thing lasts, either. Wow, that's a nice smoke bomb. Okay, here comes the blue one. It would have been really cool if they did them all together. Yeah, I'm surprised they didn't. Yeah. That's a nice blue. Look at that. That's my favorite color right there. Whatever color that is, my favorite one. It looks like it turns green down there. Look at it. Mixing together. Yep. That might be the sun doing that. I don't know. Nice. So that was the Smokin' USA by Showtime Fireworks. Check it out. Oh, it might go forward. Oh. Okay, that's kind of wow. cool. We should maybe wait. You think so? Yeah. So unfortunately, this probably would have been the weirdest firework in the whole video, but we're gonna have to wait until we get home because we don't have batteries, and you're supposed to put batteries in this thing like that. And then what you do is you take these sticks that it comes with and you put it up here and check it out. The arms move, and I think it goes forward as it's doing that, so. It's pretty cool. By the way, this is a seal, it's not a dolphin, so I was wrong. But stay tuned, end of the video, we're gonna light that off. All right, so as you can see, it's dark enough now to start lighting off our weird, strange, and odd fireworks. We're gonna go ahead and start here with the Captain America shield, red, white, and blue thing by Link Triad brand. Wow! All right, so these are the crackling strobe pots. Now, I've never seen them crackle. I've only seen the strobe pots. So let's see if there's a real difference here. Okay, there's your strobe. And it does crackle too. <laughs> That's really bright. Nice. All right, here goes the Millennium Falcon. Should spin. Hopefully it doesn't set our launch pad on fire. Wow, that is loud. Oh my God. That is very loud. Look at that. Is there gonna be stuff out the top too, I think? That is crazy. Yeah, that was loud. Wow. All right, so now we're gonna light the Normandy Landing Craft by Brothers Pyrotechnics. Remember, that string is actually gonna burn with that fuse right there, and that should send the tank coming out of the front. So, and we have a zipper in the back, so this should be pretty cool. Let's see if this thing actually moves. Okay, we have it on level ground. Okay, there's a spinner. Okay, it didn't go up in the air. I thought it was gonna. This is actually really cool. Does it melt the string and send the tank out? Let's see. There it goes. Yep. Okay, does it eject? Nope. Oh, that would have been really cool. Oh, I think it's supposed to. Yeah, it is. It's supposed to come out of the front. Okay. Oh, well. It might have been backwards. That was cool. All right, so on this first one, I'm gonna film it in wide angle because we're not entirely sure what it's gonna do. They're supposed to hover at eye level and then continue to go up in the air. So we're gonna light one and see how it looks. Okay, it hovers like right there. There's the second stage. Third stage, wow. That's really cool. That's a sweet view. I wish you guys could see the stars and stuff too here. So these are actually really cool. They don't hover at eye level, but just over top, so probably 15 feet in the air. We're gonna light another one here in times one zoom. So this is actually the regular camera footage, or zoom, I should say. See, so about right there, second stage, 
Third stage. It's like a, <laughs> it's like a jellyfish floating through the, yeah. through the water. That's one of the coolest things I've ever seen. All right, we have the whole lineup right here. And on this first one, I'm gonna shoot in wide angle because this has a very fast takeoff and I don't wanna miss it. So here goes the rocket or missile. See? Oh my God. Yeah, it's not like a regular missile. So I don't know about this one. I've seen some fountains that go super high. So we're gonna light this. Yeah, it's not very high right now. Okay, here comes some crackling. So far, it's definitely not the world's highest fountain. But we'll see. Oh my goodness! Okay, okay. All right. Yeah, for sure. At the end there, I think that was about maybe 15, 20 feet. I don't actually know. It might just be a little fountain. Okay, it's gonna have that cool willow effect. By the way, guys, you true Star Wars fans out there, his name is not Baby Yoda, it's Grogu. Wow. Oh, it's crackling inside the fountain. Well, that was Grogu. Next one up is the Tiny Tug by Brothers Pyrotechnics. Check it out. Not sure what this is gonna do. Here we go. Oh, wow. It's like a flying fish. I think this is what the next one's gonna do. Oh, well, that is weird. I'm glad I threw it in with the video. Look at that. Nice. We got some big crackle here. Okay, it shot up into the air at the end. I don't know if that was intended or what, but that was cool. Okay, there's the crackle. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Just for the fun of it, here goes the other one. This is what you gotta light on the fourth. Ah. <laughs> uh, uh. There we go. <laughs> So now we're gonna do the fish crazy fish effect by Black Cat Fireworks. And I think this is gonna be a lot like um, the one we did before with flying fish. 
We'll see. Oh, that's cool, but I gotta get closer. Check it out. It's like lava. Look at that. Yeah. No, I like that a lot. All right, I gotta admit, I'm a little disappointed in that one because it didn't have any flying fish effects, but it had that really cool lava effect that you saw with all the multicolor stars. Anyway, here goes Scarlet Thread, 480 shot cake, Roman candle style, check it out. And the fuse is actually right there. So let's see it in action. Here we go. We're gonna turn night into day here. <laughs> Oh, I probably should have filmed this in wide angle. Yeah, look at that. You guys got to see from ground zero. Look at that. That was nice. So last but not least, we have Cade's spinning firework. He actually, yeah, you picked that one out. So let's see it in action, man. We're about to see if Cade picked out a good one. I think he did. For his first firework purchase ever, this is what he got. Whoa, that was really high. Here we go. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, you picked a good one, man. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. Dude, it looks like a portal on the ground. Look at that. That was awesome. Hey, man, you picked a good one. Thank you. All right, guys, so as promised, here goes the Ocean Theater Firework. Um, it's a little seal, and you put those sticks here in the top. There's a little hole on the top of that ball. Check this out. I think you guys are really gonna like it. All right, look at this. <laughs> so you just have to flip that switch on the bottom. This is one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Totally worth the wait. <laughs> and these are pretty safe for the backyard. They don't make a lot of racket. Look at that. All right, because I like this one so much, we're doing another one. Check it out. Well, I appreciate you guys sticking around until the end so we could see that awesome ocean theater firework. There was an extra H in there, so I'm not sure exactly how you say it. And obviously we're not at the gravel pit anymore and it is getting dark out, so I will see you in the next video.